In today's vlog, I'm gonna show you all how I turn this into this to create this. Check one, two. Say tippy tippy tip tippy tip panina. And I'm causing a scene. Why loud, why loud, why loud? Y'all just show me what you about. Bend your back, bend your back, right out. Hands up, bumpers down. Touch down, touch down, touch down, touch down, touch down, touch down, touch down. Hands up, bend your bumpers down, down. Set live. them clothes that is the clothes I was wearing in an event I worked in recently well let's see how clean this camera is this is the camera I use on that same job in Trinidad and Tobago and I believe in the Caribbean in the region we have things called dirty parties as a production entity at some point in your career you may get asked to do a wet fit dirty party Trinidad too. you go to the party it involves water paint mud powder oil in some cases it depends on what the promoters decide to go with so I had a dirty party to do you apply for they throw a party called festival of color it's an event that I was a bit intimidated to do at first when I first got the call because you know you're thinking you're going out there with your equipment there's a lot of water and dirtiness and then people head bad answer the call and I went out here now preparing to shoot a dirty party is one of the most difficult things you could ever do in my opinion thinking about boy how i'm gonna secure my gear how i'm gonna secure my cameras how i'm gonna make sure everything isn't damaged because you had to go in the crowd you had to go on the stage you had to get in the action if you want to get the type of content that you're looking for you have to be in the mix and being in the mix means being um vulnerable you know what i do look online and see what people is use so you know there are professional things like rain covers but the reality is it was too late for me to order anything to get it for the shoot so you know what <laughs> any grocery that sells ziploc bags now boy in my case it wasn't ziploc it was glad so first thing first i went to the grocery had my shopping list and i decided to go and get some items to make my diy rain cover what some of the materials are you might ask simple very simple a glad bag a plug bag, freezer bag, electrical tape, a scissors, and a camera, and some steady hands. That is it. I wasn't the inventor. I went online and I did some research and realized these are items you could kind of make it work, and that's why I did. So, this entire video here is about showing you all how you could take these very simple household items and create a, some kind of protective cover for your camera so that when you go out into these environments to film, you're bound to go and clap. You're gonna be safe. In a nutshell, I'm gonna show you how to make this contraption kind of crack shot ish, but it is work. QB roll. 3, 2, 1. Number 1, camera. Second thing, lens. Third thing, glad bag. Fourth thing, pair of scissors. Last but not least, tape. First up, take your camera, take your lens, attach one to the other. Following that, you take your bag, take your pair of scissors, make sure you find the center. Center of what that bag is at the base. So you take your scissor, make a small chop, bloop, down the middle. Next chop, bloop, next side. Bloop. Essentially what you're trying to make is a plus sign. After you make your plus sign, you just kind of open the edges a little bit so that it's not that small of an incision. And then you place that over the lens of the camera. What I usually do is I just kind of apply some pressure, some force, just enough so that it goes over the lens of the camera. It's the only thing that is on my lens as additional is a filter. So that if there any water comes in, it doesn't go into the actual lens or down into the mechanics of the lens. You take your scissors, your pair of scissors, you take your tape, cut, and you begin to now tape the bag around the perimeter of the lens so that you secure it properly and of course using the tape is to prevent any moisture from getting below and after that make sure that you remove all the air out of the bag and on the back end of the bag you take it and you seal it up properly and basically does it you have your DIY rain cover pretty much done this process could take anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes if you are real steady hands you might even do it in less This is what it looks like. It isn't fancy looking, and if you show up on your corporate shoot or something like this, your clients might want to know if they are a man. But I'm telling you, 
in these events shooting them kind of parties i'm gonna tell you something this is a lifesaver i saw a number of different people be it videographers be it photographers men taking stills and things the whole camera cover in paint and thing dread men some men lose the camera and real men message me after and say horse how you make that boy how you do that boy because even though these cameras weather sealed in some form it ain't waterproof so you ain't supposed to go out there and put the camera in the water and do what you want your cuckoo go and cook you know what i'm telling you i just want to show you all real-time footage with all the raw audio Audio and only while sounds here will actually hear and see and experience what this environment like. Take a look at what some of the footage look like from this. Your camera tape up, your camera secure, your DIY crack shot camera bag finish. Now you could go in a party and get shots like this. All of me is a man life that I play in mass. Oh, I never see this. All you want to get an idea in charge of job. I never see this. It's Rock Zero. It's Anzio. It's Ileo. It's Galileo. It's Marcelo. So that's it guys, DIY camera cover, rain cover, dirty cover, crack shot cover, piper cover, vlog number two, finish. But before you leave, a pot scraping for subscribers, let's subscribe to my channel please, I want to let you see my thing them, because I really want to let you see what we're doing in the Caribbean here, and understand what Motion by AC is doing as well, so hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, oh and I forget to tell you, this video still is sponsored by nobody, until then, later.